citasse é, um exemplo específico em que a meditação transcendental é, ajudou na concepção dos seus filmes. Ok, eu vou dar um exemplo. Normalmente, você pratica a transcendental meditação para expandir a consciência, para unfoldar seu potencial to make life better and better and better. You dive within in meditation. You transcend. Transcend means to go beyond. It's a place you go that is unbounded, infinite, eternal. You can't wish yourself there. You can't imagine yourself there. You get a technique, boom, you're there. Now you're expanding consciousness and all the positive qualities of consciousness. Intelligence, creativity, happiness, love, energy, peace, home of total knowledge. Then when you come out of meditation, you feel so refreshed and energized. Then you try to catch ideas. Then you try to, you know, then you go to work happily with lots and lots of energy. Life just seems to get better and better and better. Sometimes in meditation, you know, um, you get ideas, but you, you, it's like if you get a good idea, you have to, you know, come out of meditation. You're so deep, but you can write it down so you won't forget it. Go back into meditation. Mostly you get ideas outside of meditation. You use meditation to expand the consciousness, and then with that expanded consciousness, you go and catch more and more ideas. Once I was meditating, um, I was working on Mulholland Drive. Mulholland Drive was made for a television pilot. They hated the pilot, ABC. So now I get the chance to turn it into a feature, but I had zero ideas, zero. And it was a very um, kind of critical, critical thing, not having ideas, because here I have the opportunity to make it into a feature. I go into meditation uh, this evening, that one evening, on the day I learned that I had the green light to make it to a feature, no ideas. I start meditating, get down in there deep, and I say like a string of pearls came every single idea I needed. Like a string of pearls. Por que você prefere fazer esse cinema mais de sensações ao invés de um cinema que só conta uma história, um cinema de forma? I've made, I've made very linear story films, and I've made more abstract, non-linear films. It depends on the ideas that I fall in love with. So I could say, I don't know what I'm doing next. I don't know whether it's going to be non-linear or linear, but ideas will come, boom, I'm in love. I see it, hear it, feel it, I'm in love and I know what I'm going to do. And this one is going to be linear, or the, it's going to be abstract. And even in the non-linear ones, there are many, many concrete things to hang your hat on. A film, you know, could be totally abstract, but I think people would, you know, get very, very lost. I like stories that hold both concrete things and abstractions. In the world, de hoje em que há muito pragmatismo e ceticismo, é, como que vocês na, na sua fundação David Lynch espera que as pessoas é, se, sejam atraídas para fazer a meditação transcendental? Very very easily. All people have to do is see the results that have now been established. Meet some students that were one way before they started meditating and see the change talk to the students that have transcendental meditation ask them to tell their story go to schools that were filled with violence and all kinds of problems very dark places that people did not want to go to school did not want to learn one year later with transcendental meditation see how it turned 180 degrees around then people say, wait a minute, this is not some strange thing from the East. This is for human beings. It works. If you're a human being, this will work and life will get better. You're, you're going to the source of 
everything. And it's all positive and it's all major Felicidad. And life gets real good. Once they see this, now more and more you're going to hear stories of how this changes things and brings a dynamic peace and brings creativity and happiness, more intelligence, easier to understand the knowledge, easier to get along with your fellow man. You start loving your fellow man. Start loving your teacher. Start loving your principal. Start going, it's just a happy place now, the way you want schools to be just by enlivening this deepest level, growing that consciousness, all positive, and it works. Eu li que o, a meditação transcendental você não aprende lendo um livro. Sobre o que, que é, então, o seu livro em Águas Profundas? The book is about my, uh, it book came about from questions from students from 13 American universities. We toured universities. From the questions, my answers came, and it formed the book. So it's, it's really answers to questions that people have today about creativity, about cinema, about meditation, about consciousness, how it all works. And uh, so the book came out of that. Você recomendaria aos executivos dos grandes estúdios de Hollywood a prática da meditação transcendental? Absolutely. I think a lot of them do. A lot of them do. There's many, many misunderstandings about meditation, misunderstandings about transcendental meditation. People say, oh, it's a religion. It's not a religion. People from all religions practice it. They find their understanding of their religion grows, their appreciation for their religion grows. It's not a cult. I don't want to join any cult, believe me. It's a technique that opens the door to the deepest level, and when you experience that deepest level, you infuse it and you grow consciousness, number one ingredient of life, consciousness. There's lots and lots of people, you know, meditating away, and more and more and more are coming, you know, to see this is what I want.